how well are operators positioned to monetize 5G? See, that's a very important question for operators today and something that should be at least on top of their minds. Because if you look traditionally, operators have two stacks, you know, one for the consumer and another monetization stack for the enterprise. Uh, their enterprise stack traditionally tends to be really archaic in terms of features and architecture, as, and they mostly run on a batch processing mode. Uh, and most of the f new use cases that 5G enables is on the enterprise, which this old stack cannot support. So in order to ensure an effective monetization of emerging and you know, planned 5G use cases, operators need a new stack there. That goes without saying. The biggest feature that this new stack would bring uh, on the enterprise side is real-time charging. Uh, but also, operators would like it ideally to be compliant with cloud-native principles of architecture that would enable them to you know, seamlessly deploy and you know, uh, by adhering to all the modern software development methodologies, they're just pr future-proofing it. Now in the super long term, this could eventually grow and expand to cover other use cases as well, uh, you know, even extending onto the consumer side if need be. What are operators' key requirements for IoT monetization? So there are many monetization platforms out there for IoT, most of them uh, coming from the enterprise side of the business. Uh, but for, from an operator perspective, I believe their biggest requirement would be that these platforms are carrier grade rather than simply internet grade, which basically means they can offer a higher level of reliability. The second key aspect would be that they embrace modern architecture models, you know, like cloud native and being able to run off public cloud, for instance. The reason why that's important is that unlike traditional services that operators offer, IoT runs on very thin margins and they need to have a low footprint, low cost platform that can make this business model feasible. And the third one would be the importance of platforms and ecosystems. Why? Because again, you know, IoT is fully functional only if it has a large ecosystem of partners being able to plug in and play and offer their services. So ecosystems are very important and therefore platforms that enable ecosystems would become crucial as well. One other point I would add to that is that if you are a vendor who has experience across industries, that would be seen as an advantage, mainly because there is a lot of other verticals involved in um, operators' core IoT offerings because it's not strictly serving the telco market or the communications vertical, it's cross-industry.